Hello again. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we are the lunchbox team. Let's talk about the team. We learned the lesson from yesterday, so let's start with the team. Uh, let's start from my mate Marius. Uh, Marius is a iOS developer since the App Store was born, and he's the man behind more than 20 successful apps. Uh, second one is Jonas. Jonas is very young, but already award-winning designer. And uh, the third one is me, Midas. Uh, let's talk more about me. <laughs> uh, all right. So actually, uh, I have a 15. I have 15 years uh, of history of advertising and marketing, and uh, running the for five years the coffee chain named Coffee Inn, which, which is now number one uh, very trendy coffee chain in Lithuania and Latvia. And I think that those 15 years gave me a very unique and deep picture and understanding of the field, which is which is where Lunchbox is designed for. So I, I, I think that I know where the, where, the, where the problem is and how to fix it. Because uh, I, I saw a lot of people with that problem and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them. So, you know, so who can do better solution? So we saw the problem and actually we saw two problems. So let's talk from, from customer perspective. Uh, and we, we came up with a solution which is called Lunchbox application, which is the ultimate lunch special locator. And I stress the word special because it's not like lunch, it's a lunch special. We call it the most beautiful thing. Uh, we believe that this solution is built to win uh, for, the simple, for the simple reason, because users, every one of you, I think, uh, we love it because it will solve the main headache of the day when you go for, for lunch with business partners or girl or friend. You just, every day you're solving the same thing. Where to have perfect lunch and what to have for lunch today. Uh, so we came up with the lunch box which is, uh, which is showing you in a very convenient, simple way, local lunch specials which is based on location. So it's very easy to choose and it's very easy to use. So let's, let's have a look how it, how, how it looks and how it works. So we can list uh, the offers by proximity or you can just look into the map. And you can see precise all the specials, the duration and the price. And from the other perspective, from the venue's perspective, which is very important for us, Venues will love it because, because we deliver powerful analytics for them, which is key, I think, for success. And we solve the daily communication problem because by now they don't know how to reach you in your phones. And of course, social sharing is very important in our case, right? And we deliver simple administration with a, with a very intuitive backend. So they, they just can enter the special and see it live, the preview of the screen, right? Uh, the second homework for us was the topic about competition. So we think about the DVD and we think that nothing is quite like it. Actually, because we are focusing at lunch special. We are not building the universe of, of groupons and everything around third parties. We are focusing very specifically on lunch special. And we deliver unique metrics, which is the key for, for restaurants or cafes nowadays in, in, a, in a highly competitive market to understand the behavior of, of everybody. Alright, so where is the money? Uh, first, fee for metrics. And second, premium positions. Uh, I invite you to join us for a little money. <laughs> 70 k euros is uh, the, the split is 50 k for running costs and 20 k for market. And the next step is to build a really scalable business model and to improve these magic methods. Right. All right. So 15 seconds left. It's as fast as application. 
the by the way, it's launched yesterday officially. Applause, thank you. So you talk about these magic metrics that you're going to sell and make money off. So what are some of those magic metrics? Uh, so first of all, uh, it will be based on, on usage of application, and our team is capable to do that. I checked that yesterday late night. And uh, as well, the second part is uh, to build a location based metric. <coughs> That's not very easy, but it's, it's possible to do that. So, me as a, as a participating launch location, yeah. what, what are the metrics that would be interesting to me that you guys will provide? I think the very simple answer would be like Google Analytics for how to test that stuff. It's like, like to imagine a picture of how it is. What's that? Like? But what are those metrics? Can you give me units? What's the numbers? All right, so the numbers are, let's say, uh, how, 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 how much time do you spend on exact venue scrolling in, in deep into the venue looking for the offer? Or how much time do you use this offer instead of neighbor offers by allocation. And on and on and on. So you can build a lot of data on that. And how will this help me as a launch location? So as a, how will that help me as an eatery, as a place that sells lunch? I think first, first to understand, do you have, do you have a problem as a, as a location? Maybe you, you should fix something with your lunch special or menu, right? And second one, the, how, how bad is everything about you? you know, for the for, for, for some of you. So that should help me figure out how I can draw more customers into, yes. into my place by knowing yes. how much my uh, my discount for lunch actually works. How it works, and maybe it yeah. maybe, it, uh, maybe even to, to encourage you to, to buy a premium position. So, how many lunch specials did each restaurant can offer? How many? Yeah, how many types of lunch specials? Is it one dish or uh, is it the whole menu? So, we, we, uh, we are already running, so uh, we, we have 20 menus on the list and it varies from one, one mix to up to three mixes, like soup and let's say chicken or soup plus chicken desserts. Do you plan to like uh, check the quality of these dishes? Like, uh, uh, you know, uh, they want to attract attract the customer. Customer enters, the best dish is served, and the rest uh, sucks. So, how do you plan to provide the high quality for your own customer? One of the one of the second one of the nearest steps is to improve uh, the usability of the application of and of course include the uh, ratings and the social sharing so that uh, Yeah and uh, why this, why are you working on this project? Why not scale coffee in, in more countries? Because uh, I'm the entrepreneur in my heart. Okay, I, I may have missed something, but earlier your, your, I liked your presentation, good short points, and, and you, are you really happy when you said there's uh, not only one problem, there's, there's two problems, and then you're so efficient that after that the problems were solved, but I never, I never understood what, what the problems were. What, what were those two problems? Uh, my problem is that in, in this world, uh, I don't want to spend uh, Everyday time, like getting the like you know the lunchbox, not knowing what's inside. That's and problem number one. And for the venues, uh, there is the problem to reach people like us because we uh, you know we know, we, we know what, what what we want to eat. We have something about. We don't want to to have something that we don't know. For today, so you know, you, you should, they don't have a tool for that. They don't have a tool. So, so just a couple of observations. Like uh, your project for me had very powerful images. Like one image yesterday that we had, but we didn't have today, is that that picture of that poor man sitting on the bench. That, that was a very powerful, powerful image. 
you know, so, so I miss that, that image, and he reminds me a little of you. Um, <laughs> there, there was a second image, and, and I, I actually, it, was, it, it troubled me. I think I, I woke up and I couldn't really, it, it had something to do with your logo, and I, I remembered the logo, but I couldn't really remember so much what made an impression until so I went to the bathroom, and, and all of a sudden it reminded me that your logo to me looks like I dropped my fork and my knife in the toilet. <laughs> that often has like cool designs and like superhero stuff on it or whatever. So there's a very strong nostalgic attachment to a lunchbox itself as a physical thing. And I, and I feel like in the branding that was, it was kind of lost, right? Um, there's a lot of really cool, fun things you could, uh, you, you could do with that, right? Uh, but like Greg, I was a little bit lost when you were like, there's not just one problem, but two. And here's the solution to the problem. I felt like uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, 42. <laughs> so, yeah, don't, don't leave me hanging like that. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, we, we, we should think very seriously about the naming, uh, especially for US. I understand it. Yeah. Lunchbox is a great name for you guys. Just run with a lunchbox. Like, yeah. Yeah. Not a toilet. Not a <laughs> <laughs> 